Uh, today I would like to introduce you to a couple of training methods uh, for Mahashigiri and uh, we're going to look at Mahashigiri and first check what kind of dynamics are involved in this kick so that we can separate them and practice them separately. If you're going to analyze a Mahashigiri you will find that there are many elements present and in obviously each kicking technique one element is the movement of your heel in this manner. Also, when you do a kicking technique, there is the part where you have to raise your knee actively. And actually, you have to do this action and that action at the same time. Then you can say, alright, but my body, this is the wrong way. So my body is another element, I have to keep this up straight, maintain my center line, and I have to do that for my kick. So, obviously for Mawashigiri, there's also a rotational element. So in this case, I'm going to lift my knee, pull my heel, do that at the same time as I maintain the center line and finally I have to open my body, raise my knee actively. And as you can tell from Mawashigiri, obviously for Wado, as I explained in my other videos on the characteristics of kicking techniques, you raise the knee first and then you're going to open up your body and basically you can make it uh, parallel to the ground. It's, uh, there are several variations though, but for basic, uh, you can uh, use that uh, as a reference. Alright, so when you're going to look at Mashigiri from this angle, you can devise many training methods. For example, maybe someone is uh, very good at his rotational uh, skill, maintaining balance, but maybe this uh, movement of his leg is uh, not done properly. So I have a very uh, simple method for that. So you can simply lie down on the ground, in this manner, and then um, just raise your knee, make your foot active, you can choose by the way to do it this way or that way, that doesn't really matter, but activate your knee, bring it up high, activate your foot so that you're sure to use your whole leg, then extend it, and you can also use this action of your foot, so stretch it and bring it back uh, for training for more control of your foot. Anyway, it's your choice whether you do it this way or that way. It doesn't really matter. So extend it, bring it back. Extend it, bring it back. And obviously you can do it slowly as I demonstrate now. And you can also choose if you want to have more uh, emphasis on mind muscle connection uh, to extend it, squeeze your muscle and hold it for a couple of seconds, then return it. Or obviously You can do it uh, faster like your actual kick. Okay, so it may look a little bit funny, but what you can do in this matter, uh, you have you are avoiding um, having to hold your balance. You are avoiding uh, using the rotational action of your body. All these elements that you are uh, concerned with usually when you execute mashigiri, uh, you can all put them aside and simply focus on the action of your leg because that is apparently what you what you lacked in your training or what you would like to improve so um, this is one method just for uh, the leg movement and you can also uh, use another method to focus more on the rotation of your body which i'll show you now this method will uh, focus on moving from showman to mahami and basically check it by uh, stepping down directly Obviously, usually when you execute the Mahashigiri, you will come back uh, to your Kamai and face the uh, face front. Obviously, you're, although your body is hungry, but you're face the front. So, however, when you execute Mahashigiri, your hip has to move from here to there. So you have to make sure that your hip will rotate uh, far enough in order to make a complete movement. Obviously, for the basic technique. So how you can check this, when you execute Mahashigiri, you can step through. And you can also use it to do it this way, so you can make a complete pattern. You take the Heisoku Dutch, you bend your knees a little bit, you, you can you do your hands like this or like that, it doesn't really matter. What the point is, is that you go from Shomen to Mahami, and then uh, straighten your, uh, drop your leg so that you can take uh, the Heisel to Dutch and go to the next angle. So your body is showman, 
kick, drop, kick, drop. And then you're back where you started, and obviously you can start with your left leg. So this is one method, obviously there is a rotational action, but you can use it to check whether you have opened your body enough. Alright, I'll see you soon for our next video, and thanks again for watching. Stay tuned!